The show opens up in an all-girls classroom, where several students are going about their day. Suddenly, a girl arrives there with excitement in her eyes and reveals that their classroom is soon going to merge with the boys. The news exhilarates everyone, except for our main character, Ara, who apparently ran into a problem a year ago. The scene then cuts to the past, where Ara sneaks inside the boys' hostel to execute a mission. She goes near the locker room and tries to put a letter inside her crush, Park Kun's locker. Unfortunately, before she can do it, a handsome guy named Choi Woo Hyuk catches her red-handed and chastises her for being there. Ara does not reply or apologize, she simply runs away from there. After she's gone, Choi picks up the letter and assumes that it's for him. The show again returns to the present and we are taken to Ara's apartment where she lives with her twin brother, Joe Asio. Joe finds some special notes in Ara's bag and begins reading them. It appears as if his only objective is to irritate and disturb his sister. Though they are twins, neither Ara or Joe's friends know about their relationship. The next day in class, Ara's best friend Nina can be seen smiling, hopeful that she will soon get a chance to be with the Mermaid Princes. Here, we learn that the Mermaid Princes are the best high school swimmers who have won several competitions and medals. Surprisingly, one of the three swimmers is Joe. Meanwhile, Ara is worried thinking that Choi might still remember her from the locker room incident. She is also stressed that she has to bear her annoying brother at school. So, Ara decides to transfer schools, but to her bad luck, she is denied because the second semester has already started. In the next scene, the boys and girls are finally merged into one classroom. To Ara's horror, Choi recognizes her and comes straight to her. He mentions that he has seen her somewhere, but Ara asserts that they have never met before. Right then, Choi's ex-girlfriend, Yoon Young, notices them talking and feels jealous. Later, Ara enters the classroom and takes her seat beside Yoon. The latter asks her if she and Choi are dating, mentioning that she saw them talking outside. The question makes Ara even more anxious, and she nervously says that she doesn't even know Choi. Meanwhile, Choi, who is currently on a break from swimming, visits his regular doctor for a health update. After a few checks, the doctor reveals that his heart is progressing, but it is still not in the state to return to swimming. Here, we get to know that Choi recently underwent a heart transplant, and this is why he quit swimming. He has also kept this news a secret from everyone. After school, Park waits for Yoon and they return home together. On the way, she asks why he waits for her regularly, to which Park replies that he likes her. However, after realizing that she still likes Choi, he backs away and tells her that he likes someone else now. Elsewhere, Ara returns home after a tiring walk, only to find Choi inside her apartment. She asks him what he's doing there, but Choi instead accuses her of following and stalking him. He also reveals that he has recognized her as the girl who left the love letter for him a year before. Hearing this, Ara laughs and clarifies that the letter was not for him, but for Yoon. This makes Choi somewhat upset, and he starts scratching his head. Following this, Ara asks him why he's there, and the reply shocks her to the core. It turns out, Choi will also live in the same apartment from now on. In the next scene, the twins are trying their best to explain to Choi that they are actually siblings. Joe also apologizes to him and mentions that if he wants to stay there, he needs to keep their relationship a secret from their classmates. Having no other option left, Choi reluctantly agrees to the condition. Next, the whole classroom is taking part in a fitness program where they are made to run on the tracks. As Ara is interested in running, she overtakes all the students until she and Choi are left to compete for the first position. Unfortunately, right before they reach the finish line, Choi feels a sharp pain in his heart and falls to the ground. Ara immediately supports him, asking him to take deep breaths. Later, when the students return to the classroom, Yoon thanks Ara for helping Choi in the field. She also reveals that though Choi tries to portray himself as a strong guy, he is soft and weak on the inside. After school, Yoon meets Choi and tells him that she is well aware of his heart transplant and that it's the reason he broke up with her. She actually prayed for him while he was at the hospital and is ready to keep this a secret from others. Hearing this, Choi comes closer to Yoon and hugs her. Right then, Ara arrives there and notices the two. She hides behind a wall and keeps an eye on them. To her surprise, Park pulls her from behind and proposes to her, stating that someone told him that they look good together. The sudden proposal freezes Ara, and she struggles to utter a word. Hence, Park walks away from there. In the next scene, Yoon takes Choi to the same restaurant that they used to frequently visit when they were in a relationship. She orders their favorite food, but due to his heart condition, Choi cannot eat it. Later, both of them walk out of the restaurant and come to the conclusion that despite how much they try, the relationship between them cannot be like before. On her way back home, Yoon meets Park and tells him that her relationship with Choi is over and starts crying. The following day after seeing Yoon sat in the classroom, Choi texts her and asks her to meet him in the piano room. 
Once she arrives, he apologizes and tells her that since he recently had a heart transplant, his taste and choices are changing. Hearing this, Yoon also apologizes and asks Choi if he would like to give their relationship a second chance, to which he agrees. Back in the classroom, Park approaches Ara and gifts her a variety of drinks. Everyone in the classroom is taken aback, and it seems like Park is doing this to make Choi feel jealous. He is angry at Choi for making Yoon sad and for quitting the swimming team without informing anyone. Back at Ara's apartment, Choi comes to her while she is exercising and asks if she wants some ramen. Ara refuses it and urges him to go away. Right then, Choi takes out his phone and starts taking her picture. He then threatens to send them to Park. Hearing this, Ara gets angry and tries to snatch the phone away from him, but ends up falling on top of Choi. They stay in the position for a few seconds before Ara collects herself and walks away. Later while having food, Joe suddenly suggests to Ara that she should accept Park's proposal. However, she asks him to remain silent, saying that she is not interested in relationships. Here, we get to know that she started liking Choi, and likewise, he is also attracted to her. The next day in the classroom, when the boys do not let the girls change their clothes despite their turn, Ara enters the classroom and starts removing her shirt. Luckily, before she removes it completely, Choi undresses and covers her with his clothes, compelling the other boys to leave. Ara is really touched by Choi's gesture, but on the other hand, Yoon does not like it and storms out. Out of jealousy, she later plots an idea. Yoon talks to Park and suggests he go out with Ara. Similarly, she also meets Choi and lies to him that Ara and Park are in a relationship. Hearing this, Choi becomes upset and starts ignoring Ara at home. When she inquires why he is doing so, Choi simply replies that he and Yoon are back in a relationship. After school is over, Ara's friend asks her to accompany her to karaoke with her boyfriend. Though Ara is in no mood to join her, she reluctantly agrees. Yoon is listening to all of this, and to make Ara feel jealous, she takes Choi to the same mall. Later, when Ara walks out of the karaoke room to buy a drink, she notices the two together and tries to hide her face. Right then, Park approaches her and asks her to help him. He tells her that he still likes Yoon, but she likes Choi. Hearing this, Ara gets confused for a while, but when Park requests her help to make Yoon happy, she agrees. Meanwhile, Nina's boyfriend doesn't show up at the karaoke and instead, Joe comes there to meet her. It turns out that Joe has liked Nina since the beginning. They have a good time at the karaoke and later decide to go out on a date. Surprisingly, all three couples gather outside and agree to meet somewhere together. In the following scene, the three couples can be seen enjoying their time at a dating place. After their photo shoot, Park sits with Ara and tells her that he and Yoon are childhood friends and that he started liking her when he was a kid. Though they are lifelong friends, he is still not able to confess his love for her. He also mentions that when he knew Choi proposed to her before him, he just felt happy for them and never disturbed them. Now, as he knows that Choi doesn't have the same feelings for Yoon, he wants to grab the opportunity and propose to her. In the heat of the conversation, Ara also clarifies that she has no special feelings towards Choi and only regards him as a good friend. Meanwhile, Choi comes clean with Yoon saying that he doesn't feel any affection towards her like he used to. So, he wants to end their relationship and be friends. As expected, this shocks Yoon. She simply stares at him with teary eyes before storming out. In the next scene, Choi confronts Ara and tells her that his heart beats faster whenever she is around him. Initially, she doesn't take him seriously and asks him to visit a doctor. But when Choi says that he's not lying, she kisses him all of a sudden. After some time while returning home, Ara tells him that their earlier kiss was just a mistake. She just wants to be friends. This obviously upsets Choi, but nonetheless, he agrees with her decision. At the same time, Park meets with Yoon and confesses his feelings for her. He mentions that he doesn't want to be friends with her and wishes to take the relationship to the next level. He then hugs a shell-shocked Yoon and tells her that he will be waiting for her reply. Afterward, Ara, Joe, and Choi start preparing for their upcoming exams. During rest time, Choi teases Ara and comes closer to her. But right then, he suddenly feels pain in his chest and falls unconscious. The siblings panic and immediately take him to the nearby clinic. There, the doctors reveal that Choi is feeling pain because of his recent heart transplant. The news shocks Joe as he was oblivious to the transplant. He angrily asks Choi why he kept it a secret, to which the latter replies that he didn't want anyone to worry about him. The following day, Choi returns to the swimming club and tells the coach that he wants to rejoin. 
Right then, Park arrives there and confronts Choi for leaving the club without notice. He also yells at him for being a reckless member who doesn't participate in any competitions. We can clearly see that Park is doing all of this to take revenge on Choi for hurting Yoon. Later, while returning home, Yoon talks to Park and reveals to her about Choi's medical condition and heart transplant. Park gets angry after hearing it and yells at Yoon for hiding such a thing from him. The next day, while Park is practicing swimming, Choi approaches him and apologizes for hiding about his transplant. He also clears that he did this to keep his promise and win medals together. At first, Park gets angry, but when Choi challenges him to a swim race, he agrees. This turns out to be a bad idea, however, as in the middle of the race, Choi again gets into trouble. Fortunately, Park comes to the rescue and takes him to the nearby hospital. Later, Ara comes to Choi and scolds him for swimming, despite the doctor's warning. After this, she walks away from the room, goes to the corner, and starts crying. This reveals how much she loves and worries about Choi. On the other hand, Yoon meets Park and apologizes to him for hiding the truth about Choi. He also forgives her, and the two get into a relationship. In the last scene, Choi and Ara are alone at a swimming pool talking about their future. Choi tells Ara to jump in the pool so he can teach her to swim. Once she does, Choi grabs her by the waist and confesses his love for her. He tells her that he is so lucky to have her swimming in his life. Hearing this, Ara also confesses that she too likes him and wants to be in a relationship with him. The show ends with the two playing with each other in the swimming pool.